Okay, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to go ahead and take the house that we already have and we're going to add on this terracotta siding here. We're going to go ahead and add this on, this, this area here. We're going to add the roof and we're going to duplicate some windows. First thing we're going to do is just duplicate the windows and then we're going to add the roof and then we're going to add this little piece up here. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if you notice from the prior file, your window is kind of large. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale this down and place it right around here. And we're going to make sure that when you select this, you're on the group, of course, the rear window group. You could select any object within the group and then hit the up arrow on your keyboard to select the whole group if you don't want to use your hypershade. If you forgot how to open this window, let's go ahead and review that. It's pretty important. You have to go to Window. Um, then you have to go to Hypergraph Hierarchy, just like that. And okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this rear window, and we're going to hit Control D. We're just going to move it over, just like that. Okay, so now it looks pretty nice. The only problem is it says rear window, right? So what we want to do is we want to right click this and go to rename and call this side one window and then we're going to go to this one and call this side two window okay now what we want to do is we want to grab these groups I can hold alt and middle mouse button to move this over then hold shift we're just going to hit control D Okay, and we're going to bring this over right to the other side. And you'll notice we just created a few new groups, made these nice little connections. The only thing you have to do is you have to notice that it's kind of the wrong way here. So we're going to take our scale tool and just scale it so it's the right way. And we're going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to take these groups and just kind of fix their rotations a bit. It's a little off there. Okay, it looks good. Let's grab that one and rotate it. I'm just fixing the windows a bit. And if you'd like, you could add a few in the back. That's, that's fine. It's really your call. go to side view here and we'll notice that those are a little off too so we'll go ahead and try to rotate these things so they're kind of straight here okay all right there you go looks pretty cool next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make a roof so let's go ahead and do that so what I want you to do is First of all, if your house is separate, select one side of your house and delete it. Now select the other side. Go to your vertex mode. Ah. Okay, go to your vertex mode. Highlight the house on the side like this and scale it flat. Okay. Now we're just going to go to Mesh, Mirror Geometry. And you'll notice that it's now one piece. Which is good, this is what we want. If you have any troubles with that, please ask. Uh, the next thing I want to do is we're going to go ahead and take our Paintbrush tool and go to Face Mode. So it's this tool, it's the third tool down in your toolbox. And then we want to create a roof. So again, go to Face Mode. And we are going to paint all of these faces. getting these all right <clears throat> now we're going to go to mesh and then we're going to go to duplicate face tool so maybe edit mesh and let's find it duplicate face what does this do well let's find out if I hold this you'll notice it looks 
like there's something underneath. We could tell by the, it's indicated by the dash lines. So hold down shift and just click on your house again. See that? It'll turn that off. Now go to modify and center pivot and raise your roof up. If you aren't sure, you could always go to the hypershade. And you just created this. You'll notice it's in the house group. We want to actually take it out. So I'm going to grab it and middle mouse button it out. Comes over here. Actually, you know what? Control Z. Let's not do that. Let's keep it here. Just right click, rename this roof just so we know what's what here. Okay. Now what I want you to do is go to face and highlight all these faces. Whole thing. Uh, before we do that, let's make it a little bit longer. Just like that, okay? So you get a nice little roof here. Make it a little bit lower. Pretty much so it's right on top of the house. You can make it a, just a hair wider. Okay. Perfect. Go to face mode. Highlight this. Then go to edit mesh, extrude. You just take this blue arrow, and we're going to bring it up. Now you'll notice on my model, there's a bit of a geometry problem right here. See how this edge kind of comes in right here? We don't, we don't really want that. Let's see if we could fix it. I'm just going to go to edge mode, and I'm going to select this edge and this edge. Let's see here. And I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Delete Edge Vertex. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Split Polygon Tool. And I'm going to click here. And I'm going to click here. And then here. Whoops. Hit delete if you make a mistake. And there. Now we're going to go to the other side. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Let's go ahead and lift this roof up a minute. Okay. See, this edge is doing the same thing. So we're going to have to fix that. So we're going to go to Edge, select this edge. Let's see if we can move this before we do all this rebuilding. Not really. Edit Mesh, Delete Edge Vertex. And we just want to fix this. Okay, where were we? This side's pretty good. We're going to go to Select Border Edge Tool. Should select Edge Loop Tool. Double click here. There we go. Edit Mesh, Delete Edge Vertex. See, I cleaned it up. Do that here too. And go ahead and do it on this side and go to Edit Mesh, Delete Edge Vertex. Okay, that'll clean that up. Should have done that at the beginning. There you go. So go ahead and bring the roof down now. This is a minor roadblock. It's not a really big deal. Bring this down. Let's go to this vertex and bring it over and up. There's two of these here. Select these two and just go to Edit Mesh, Merge. Do that for the whole thing. Edit Mesh, Merge. Now if you, I take an edge and move it, there's nothing behind it. Okay, not a big deal. Okay, let's smooth this real quick and let's see what it looks like. Now you'll notice that the roof looks bizarre because we need to add in a whole bunch of edge loops. So let's control Z that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop. And we're going to put an edge loop here. We're going to start with that. And then we're going to tighten up the corners. So we're going to put one here. And we're going to put one here. And then we're going to put one here. And we're going to put one right there. 
actually going to undo that for a second. About there. Okay, now let's smooth this again to see what it looks like. Bit better. Still kind of strange. So let's go ahead and fix that some more. Add a mesh, insert edge loop tool. We're going to put one here and there and there. Now that'll that'll keep the uh, end right here. If I want to do one on the other side. Now this should keep the, the edge better. Let's see. See that? See all these square, squares here? This should keep it better when I smooth it. And that's good. This is what we want. Okay, the only thing is this, this roof is a little bit small. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a bit longer. I'm actually going to make it a bit, like a bit thicker like that. I'm, going to I'm actually going to intersect it with the geometry just a little bit. Okay. And let's go ahead and smooth this. Mesh smooth. And let's smooth that. And that. Smooth the whole group. Smooth this. Let's go around and smooth everything and, and see what it looks like. Smooth, smooth. I'm just hitting G to smooth the prior, to execute the prior command. And this looks pretty cool. This looks nice. Hit up to get that group and hit G to smooth it. Okay, very nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some terracotta siding. I'm just going to undo all my smoothing real quick. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and create polygon primitive cube. And we're going to create a cube. And you're going to take the cube and you go to edit mesh, insert edge loop tool. And we're going to put one here, 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 here. You guys should know the drill by now. We've been doing this for a while. And there. And right down there. So now I'll just give this thing a quick smooth to see what it looks like. Make sure it looks okay. Mesh smooth. And that's beautiful. Okay, that's exactly what we want. So what we want to do here is we want to take this take this brick and we want to intersect it with the mesh. Just like just like this. Okay, you'll notice that wow, looks pretty good. It's pretty cool. Okay, looks very nice. Try to line up the corner the best you can. Bring it down. Now hit Control D and bring it up. And you can make it much smaller and bring it forward. If you want, you can throw a texture on these things so you could sort of see what you're doing. Or go to uh, shading, wireframe on shaded. This one gets better. Maybe put one there. Put one, make this maybe way skinnier. Put one here. Okay, you just basically want to add a whole bunch of these. All right, you want to do that on all the way around. So I'm going to pause the video a minute, and I'm going to go ahead and and make a bunch of terracotta siding. Because you really don't need to watch me do this. Okay, so when you get something you're happy with like this, which looks nice, we're going to take all of these, select them all, and you notice all here, we're going to hit Control G and group it, all these cubes. We're going to call this group, rename it, right click rename and call it Terracotta Siding. And we're going to take this group and we're just going to simply go to your front view, you're going to hit insert hit X, and we're going to snap it right to the middle of the house. Hit insert when you're done. Now on your group, hit control on this group, hit control D. Okay? And then what we're going to do, we want to, re we want to reflect it over the X axis. So go to scale X and put in negative 1. And it's on that side. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to here. 
I'm going to perspective, and we're going to go to side view. Well, can't really do that here. Uh, let's see. That'll work, actually. Go to side view. Grab this group. This time, we're going to hit insert on our keyboard. You're going to hold down the X button. When you do that, you'll see a round circle appear. And what we're going to do, try to get it to be about right there. Hit insert to turn that back off. Hit control D. That's this group now. And this time, we want to reflect over the Z axis. The way I know it's Z is because I'm looking at this blue arrow. I want to reflect it right the opposite way that Z is. So I'm going to go to Z and I'm going to put in negative 1. Okay, it's almost perfect. Let's move it out. And then we have this. So this one is the same exact way. So I'm going to select this one. Oh, uh, there you go. Control D. And I'm going to put Z negative 1. Okay, now the only thing you want to do here, let's move that over is you want to make sure it looks really cool. It's a very nice looking house. But the problem is everything looks the same. The rocks are exactly the same. So I'm going to delete this one. Maybe I'm going to move this one up. Take this one and move it over there. Move that one over. Maybe I want to go over. I just want to change it. So that's basically what I'm doing. Control, control D. I want another one here. Maybe I even want to rotate this the long way. I'll go crazy. All right. Can't really be wrong here. It's your design. The only thing you want to make sure is it doesn't look the same. And that's... Let's go to here and maybe put that one there. Now you can clearly tell these aren't the same. This is good. I know for those of you sym symmetry freaks in my class, you're going to run into some problems making things unsymmetrical. But when you're modeling things that appear in real life, like a curb, for example, or a street, there's very few times you would look at a curb and notice that that curb is perfectly symmetrical. That curb would have normal variances in it due to wear and tear. And if you don't model those things, your models look very, they lack character. They lack spirit. They just kind of look very uniform. We don't want that. Even these windows, you know, you could take this and Go to your vertex, just move that down a little bit. Maybe move this one in. Maybe uh, maybe some kid threw a ball at it and dented the window a bit. Who knows? Right? You, could, you could kind of vary that a little bit. Okay? Minor things, that's important. So there you go. We're going to do one more thing in this video. It's getting kind of long, so we're, we're almost done. We're going to take the house and hit Control D. Just move it out. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale the house down. Probably wondering, why is the house getting scaled down? Well, we're going to go to right here and we're going to put rotate Y at 90. And we're going to put rotate X at 0. And we're going to put rotate Z at 0. And we are going to do something you would see in a maybe a cape house. I'll show you some houses so you guys see what I'm talking about. But we're going to do this. I'm sure you've seen this in houses where you have that little room peeking out of the uh, roof. And that's what we're going to do. That's a, kind of a cheat, but it looks good. right? That looks really cool. And then what we're going to do is you're going to take one of these windows and you're going to control D it. And we're going to move it up. Uh, it's obviously too large. So we're going to make it really small, really tiny. And we're going to put it on the thing we just created, that little room. Right, just like that. Maybe make it a little bit smaller, right? A little bit smaller. You know, this is maybe somebody's, you know, bedroom or something, and they want to be able to look out the windows. And there you go. It looks pretty cool. Uh, if you'd like, you could go ahead and s smooth everything out. Remember, I'm just hitting up to get that group. But that's it. There you go. This is um, looking like a really great house. Next video, we're going to add some more details and then add the color and go from there. Hope you enjoyed the video.